back to some bedtime stretches and today it's going to be for easing the belly if sometimes you feel like you're going to sleep and I don't know something's not quite feeling comfy to help you settle into that rest. So we're going to begin on your front with your heels underneath your seat and you're just going to take a nice gentle fold forwards and you want to do it with um, your hands clenched in your belly so just gently rounding forwards and just letting your head settle down and obviously you could do this with your duvet over you if it's cold <laughs> and this doesn't feel so comfy to start and it's like you want to use your hands as a little massage into the belly to help it to soften and just feel. And so be really gentle with that little movement. And if it feels too much with the hands, you could just let the hands go and let them rest. And just feel your belly and the breath into the thighs. If you're feeling really uncomfortable. So slowing the breath and breathing it down into the belly. Maybe notice the low back expanding and softening. lie on your back you're going to extend the left leg straight and hug that right knee into the chest and just like you were lying the other way use the breath to start to massage a little bit so as you inhale maybe the leg lifts a little and as you exhale draw the thigh closer into the belly and just starting to give a little bit of a massage into that right side the first side of Hold on. And it's okay if there's little squelchy stomach noises. Just try and let the thigh relax. Really just finding a soft abdominal breath. the body for an easy universal twist and you can look out over the right arm if that makes you feel a little bit more soft and relaxed. Again try and find that soft breath in the belly. Each exhale, letting it just ring out whatever's in the stomach, letting it move through whatever the tension and knots and foodstuffs are. underneath the pelvis and you just want to have it lifting your hips slightly you could double up the cushion if you want a bit of extra height so just make sure it feels nice and comfortable so put it for the low back and um, that your head is nice and soft and on your bed and then 
you're just going to start with a nice easy little belly massage here so you could just start to take your hands over to the right side underneath your ribs and just like a little cat little paws gentle little fingers rolling in underneath the ribs and just notice if there's any tender spots and be gentle with it don't poke just keep it really soft bring it up towards the ribs and under the bottom of the sternum you feel that little area and just give it a little roll between the ribs and then over and under the left side of the ribs a little pouring of the hand down to the stomach and then like a little caterpillar he kind of pour back across to the middle of the belly of the navel and just let your hand roll around the middle just feeling how around the navel feels with the palm of your hand if there's any bits that feel like they need a little bit more you can draw like little stars from the in a clockwise motion of the star, like stardust flying out across your belly. Just letting the small intestine and all of that jumbledyness in your belly be eased out. And then come over to the right side, just about two centimeters from the hip, and give it some gentle little pouring again. It kind of feels into the psoas, but also into uh, one of the valves that you see about it is the valve that helps us go into the small intestine into the large colon and this one can sometimes be where people get quite congested and so be a tender area so just be gentle with that Those little cat paws and then again little cat paws at the side like give yourself a squeeze lifting up the side of the right waist up to the ribs from the hip and then again pour over the belly like a caterpillar and down the left ribs to the left hip just bring it down notice if there's anything in particular feeling in any of these places and then an easy pour down from the left hip and then let the hands rest in the belly and just take some easy full breaths into the abdomen hips so that you're lying on your left hip opening up the right and you can have your arm under your head or you can move your other pillow underneath your head so that your head's nice and supported so just decide what feels like a good stretch for you reach the right leg as long as you can opening out the hip it's really trying to open this front and you can even take that foot slightly back if it's okay in terms of a back bend or you could catch the foot and hold the foot towards the, the, the tailbone Finding that stretch through the front of the right hip and thigh. off your cushion that's underneath your hips and put it back up to the side come back onto your back and now take that left thigh and draw it into the test giving yourself that little hug and just like we did earlier repeat finding that easy breath into the belly and with each exhale drawing the thigh a little closer in massaging out that left side so we're moving these stretches in the sequence of the digestive system to help with letting everything move naturally in the right sequence. I can hopefully 
I just as you rest, I'll be free after the rest. over the body for the twist, keeping the shoulders nice and soft on your bed and let your eye line look over to the left arm if it feels comfortable for your neck. Again, that gentle breath into the belly, letting it just simply bring out the spine out of the abdominal area. neutralizing position is to bring both legs up into a happy baby so catching the outside of the soles drawing the pelvis down and you can take that easy rock what we're really looking for here is keeping the tail long and drawing those thighs in towards the armpits you're really opening out through the low body and again breathing fully into the belly and relaxing as you exhale as you hold the Really focusing on that belly and it's full breath. again underneath the hips making sure it's that same level as the other side and then come over onto your right hip left one is on top use your cushion if you'd like for your head support and again bend the bottom knee have the top leg straight if that feels good you can take the foot slightly back to help open or you can catch the foot and come into that stretch into the thigh starting to open it out and again just find that soft breath in the front of the abdomen release that left leg roll back onto your cushion with both legs bent now if your low back is tender you might just want to extend one leg long you could try and extend both legs a little bit together or both legs fully if that feels okay for the low back just see how that feels and again just opening out through the front and just allow yourself to rest here again breathe down towards the bottom of the pelvis really let the belly be full of breath and let the belly feel fully empty. And you can rest in this pose for a few minutes if that feels good. go to sleep, finding your comfortable bed shape, whatever that is, or you might need to continue with your day. 
hope that makes your belly feel a little bit more uh, calm and smooth for some easy restful sleep. Let me know your comments and feedback and special requests and if you enjoy my videos please do hit on the donation button and send me a little bit of cheeriness into my PayPal account. Thanks ever so much guys!